Thank you for purchasing the Chorus Skin Health Analysis System. In this short video, we'll show you the basics of how to use the system. Firstly, make sure that the camera is plugged in to one of the USB ports, otherwise the program will not launch. Then, double-click the program icon on your desktop. We'll start by looking at the operation of the camera in live mode. Click on Camera on the dashboard and place the camera onto the skin's surface. This will show the surface of the skin, or epidermis, using regular light. In this mode, you can clearly see the texture of the skin surface, including fine lines and wrinkles. Click on View Dermis and the camera switches to Polarize Light which reveals the nature of the skin just below the surface. Now you can see signs of irritation, pigmentation, rosacea, burst capillaries and so on. Click on View UV layer and the camera switches to ultraviolet light, which reveals the deeper layers of the skin. In this mode, oxidation of the pores becomes clearly visible. It's not necessary to show these features as part of an analysis session, but it can be informative for the customer. The skin analysis process is operated via a database stored in the computer. To enter this mode, click on Customer Record on the dashboard. On this screen, you can create both individual customer records and customer groups as needed. To create a new customer group, simply click on the lower Add button, enter a name for the customer group, then click Save. You will see the new customer group appear in the control window on the left side of the screen. To enter a new customer record, click on the upper add button and enter the customer group that you want to include them in, the customer name and gender, birth date, height in inches and weight in pounds. Also include the customer email address so you can forward the analysis report by email following the session. It's important to record the accurate birth date as the analysis takes the age of the customer into account in its calculations. The other fields in the customer record are not necessary to complete, but can be used if desired. Once completed, click on Save and you will see the new customer's name within the customer group in the control window on the left side of the screen. Once a customer record has been created, you can click on Analysis to start the process. A pop-up screen will appear asking whether the customer is wearing makeup. If the customer is wearing makeup, the system will attempt to compensate for this, but the most accurate results are achieved when the customer is not wearing makeup. If the customer is wearing makeup, you can achieve more accurate results by removing the makeup in approximately 1 inch circles where the photographs will be taken, one on the forehead, one on the cheek, and one adjacent to the eyes. In this case, Click on No Makeup. Now we take six photographs using the high magnification camera. The first three photographs use the regular light mode. The image on the right side of the screen shows a flashing blue dot indicating the location where the photograph should be taken. In order to take the photograph, place the camera onto the skin at the location indicated without applying pressure. Make sure the camera is held still and that the image appearing on the screen is in focus and clear. Then, simply touch the middle of the black triangle on the top of the camera in order to capture the image. Once captured, the image will appear in the corresponding box at the bottom of the screen. If you're not happy with the image, you can click on the box, then retake the photograph. Now you can proceed to the next photograph at the location indicated by the flashing blue dot. Once you have taken the first three photographs on the forehead, cheek and adjacent to the eyes, the camera will automatically switch to polarized light in order to measure sensitivity and pigmentation. These photographs can either be taken at the locations indicated by the flashing blue dot or on the cheek location if you have removed makeup in that area or at locations where there are obvious signs of sensitivity or pigmentation. For the final photograph, the camera switches to ultraviolet light in order to detect oxidation in the pores. Again, take the photograph at the site indicated, 
on the cheek location if you have removed makeup in that area, or at a location where there are obvious signs of clogged pores. When you have successfully gathered all six images, the Start Analysis button will flash, indicating that you can now proceed by clicking it. The computations take approximately 10 seconds, then the Analysis Summary Report will appear. The Summary Report shows the results for the eight skin characteristics measured. In general, results toward the left-hand side are more favourable, and those at the right-hand side less favourable. For sebum, the best result is second from left, as there is the possibility of lack of sebum. We recommend identifying the two or three areas of most concern based on the results indicated on the summary screen and zooming in on the details of these results. Alternatively, if the customer prefers to focus on a particular area of concern, then we can include that area. Simply click on the corresponding skin characteristic button on the control panel to see the expanded report on the results. The detailed report shows the original photo and the analysed image at the top. A full explanation of the underlying physiology of the skin characteristic is provided, together with potential causes of imbalance, plus lifestyle and dietary recommendations and a skin care regimen to help address the imbalance. You can bring out a few key points from the information provided during the session, but the whole text is provided in the printable version of the report, so it's not necessary to read out all of the text at this time. On the right-hand side, there's a chart that shows the result compared to norms for the population. The precise numerical score is also shown, and the products that are recommended for home use by the client. Clicking on any product brings up a detailed description. At this point, we can show the client samples of some of the recommended products so that they can start to experience them directly. We can then go through the same process for any of the other results that we want to highlight, up to a recommended maximum of three of the skin characteristics. One of the most compelling features of the system is that it creates a 3D image of the skin surface. Click on the 3D View button and a pop-up window appears showing a digital rendering of the skin surface. This can be rotated by grabbing the bottom of the image and moving the cursor upwards. This enables you to clearly see the buildup of dead skin cells, triggering a discussion about the importance of regular exfoliation. When finished, make sure to close this window. Click on the Save Report button to generate a full printable report of the analysis results. For each skin characteristic, the report includes the result, along with causes of imbalances, lifestyle and dietary advice to address the imbalances, a recommended skincare regimen, and a list of products that are recommended for home use. More complete product descriptions are also provided at the end of the report. Click on the Print button, and the report can either be printed out by selecting your printer in the dialog box, or saved to a PDF file by selecting the Microsoft to PDF option. We recommend highlighting the two or three areas of greatest concern on the report so that the client can focus their attention on these areas. In order to create a list of recommended products, you can identify those products that are common to two or more of the areas of concern, and either highlight them on the printed report, or make a note of them for the customer if you are sending a PDF file to them. Once you have generated the printable report, click on Exit, then Return, to bring you back to the customer record. If this has been the customer's first analysis, then their session is now complete. Otherwise, you can monitor their progress by comparing the results of the previous analysis with the current one. Just select the box next to the current report and the previous one and click on the Comparative button. You can then see both the original and new analysis photos side by side, along with the score and the trend direction for each of the skin characteristics. If the customer has been following the lifestyle, dietary and product advice provided previously, then you should see a positive trend in the areas of concern highlighted in the first analysis. The comparative report can be printed and saved in the same way as described previously. When using the comparison function, 
it's important to make sure that the reports being compared are generated from photographs taken from the same locations. In order to ensure this continuity, we recommend using a simple system to identify the location of the camera placement. For the forehead, measure half the distance between the bridge of the nose and the hairline, and for the cheek, measure half the distance between the side of the mouth and the earlobe. The location adjacent to the eye shouldn't require a measurement. For the locations for sensitivity, pigmentation and pore photographs, make a note in the remarks box on the customer record where the photographs were taken and use the same locations for subsequent measurements. We hope you enjoy using our skin health analysis system, generating increased customer engagement and loyalty and product sales.